Welcome, my name Bob Montai and with me is Jeff Green and welcome to the Saitama Super Arena and what a super day of basketball we've got for you. The first of the two semifinals, the much awaited clashes. The first one, Greece versus the United States of America. And this game should be just a boomer. The United States have won the world championship three times. Most people don't know this, but the uh, country with the most wins is Yugoslavia with five. The United States has finished with second place three times and in third place three times. And they have brought a young, talented team here, coached by Duke University's Mike Krasuski, to try to knit together as a team and get back the James Naismith trophy, take it back to the United States. The second game, 7.30 p.m. tonight, a much-awaited class, Spain versus Argentina. Everybody picking, well, everybody has a choice in this. I would think uh, most people would go slightly with Argentina, but most of the media around us think Spain could do it. LeBron James, these are the guys who are playing so well for their country, and it's great to see them playing as a team here. The United States, ranked number one in the FIBA uh, standings, Greece number eight. And if we look at how they fared, well, people say the United States has no apparent weaknesses. However, they don't run a set offense. They tend to rely on one-to-one -one basketball. And as a result, they have nights like they did against Germany, where they shot 10 of 40 from the three-point arc. And Germany was within a point of them at halftime. In the second half, Germany committed six turnovers in the first four minutes. And the United States blew them out of the gym, 85-65. They do struggle against zones, and they're going to see a lot of zones. Chris Paul, the only player featuring in the statistics, he's second leading assist maker. And there you see the roster. Every one of those players could start. Anyone will come onto the court and make an immediate impact, such as the talent in this squad of NBA stars. For Greece, well, one of their key players, Zizis, the guard, is injured. They're looking at an eight-year absence from the Worlds, but there's a lineup that has tons of talent. Papalukas, number four, all the way down to number 14, reputedly the best center in Europe, Papadopoulos. And then you've got Bikudis, Tsaras, Diamantidis, and baby Shaq, Shorts Unitas. He is a huge human being. He weighs up around 150 kg. You don't believe it but he's very, very mobile on the basketball floor. And going back to Greece, they're very solid defensively, but right now, it's time for the national anthems of both countries. First, the national anthem of the United States of America. Next, the national anthem of Greece.
Well, after 72 day, games of competition, it all comes down to the number one seeds in each of the pool pools, and we've got number one United States going against number one Greece, pools C and B, and pools A and B. The winners there in the second game tonight will be Argentina versus Spain. You see the starting lineup for the United States. Heinrich, what a great guard he is. Johnson and James at two and three. And Carmelo Anthony and Elton Brand down low at four and five. Talent abounds in that lineup. Nice shot looking down on the Greek players. Diamantidis will start at guard. Kakusis and Havi Hazivretis, Fuxis and Papadopoulos round out the starting lineup for Greece. Well, we've got a packed house, 18 and a half thousand fans in the Super Arena, a cavernous, modernistic, futuristic building almost. It could also convert into a 40,000-seat soccer stadium indoors. But right now, basketball is all the rage. That's our focus. Two delicious main courses here. The first one, Greece versus the United States. And Yannikis, the head coach of Greece, well, I wonder what he's done to plot the downfall. They're very, very solid defensively. They make it very tough for the opposition to score. They've never had a medal. They finished 10th in 86, 6th in 1990, and a couple of fourth places, place finishes in 94 and 98. And in every statistical category, offensively, the United States is leading. They've scored on average 106 points per game, so it's easy when you're running up scores like that to say, well, they're shooting better, and they're putting more through the hoop than the Greeks. The Greeks are giving up 68. The United States give up 81. That's the factor in this ballgame. Is the Greek defense tough enough to hold the United States? Pacini, Marano, and Belasovic, the three referees, international panel of referees, of course, and neutral. And the United States has shown themselves to be vulnerable to zone defense. Just Jeff Green might have a few comments on the, the matchup. Jeff, United States versus Greece, your call. Well, you've First got to take umpire, the U.S. Cristiano as the favourites. There's no two ways about that, Bob. And second umpire, but there's a lot Belovic. of smart money on the Greeks because of the fact that they have this big and zone that they can play, and the U.S. just has struggled against the zone defences at this World Championship. Sure, they've been able to get into the open court. Once they're in the open court, very, very dangerous. They can get their athleticism going. But as we saw against Germany, they do struggle against the zone defences. I know that uh, Coach K has changed the starting lineup around today because he thinks that they'll be more attuned to playing against the Greek zone defense. So we'll see how that pans out. But you've got to say that the U.S. are favorites. Well, I guess so. But it's interesting your comment. In the past, the United States wouldn't have changed their lineup for anyone. But such is the power of basketball around the world, and especially in Europe, that the United States is actually having to think of who they're playing against and try to adjust their lineup accordingly. And that says something about the development of basketball internationally. That just says that's great coaching by, by the American coaching staff and not being single-minded as to they are the best. They know they've got to go out here and win this tournament. Greece aren't going to go and give it to them, and neither are Spain or Argentina on the other side of the draw. They have to go with us. Here we go, a game of heroic, probably epic proportions. Greece versus the United States. Will the Greek myth continue? Will they be able to upset the United States, or will the United States get regain a gold medal they last held back in 1994. They've been guilty of sending teams to world championships who have probably taken the competition too lightly. The rest of the world aim for the world championships. The United States tends to target the Olympics, but not in 2006. They've selected a young team to go along with Mike Krzyzewski, the head coach at the University of Duke, to try to wrest back the James Naismith Trophy. And 2006 remains to be seen if they can do it. Carmelo Anthony, he looks like an advertising hoarding as he walks out there, all those tattoos. Kakiusis. 
Number nine. Coach says, here we go. First semifinal. Greece against the United States. The tip off. Papadopoulos, the big center, number 14 for Greece, controls the jump ball. And the Greeks go to work. Heinrich, right up. Tough on man-to-man -man defense. United States tend to play man-to-man -man most of the game. Very seldom have we seen them in a zone, if at all. The fake, the jump, it's partially blocked by Elton Brand. So the first shot blocked. A sign of things to come. LeBron James, he's free, he takes the three. The ball bounces out high, and they get another shot from Anthony. A bit of a brick off the glass, not a good look. So two shots, two misses for the United States. The fact that they've got two easy shots off. They weren't hard ones by either Anthony or James. Inside it goes. Papadopoulos against Elton Brand. The bounce. Reputedly the best center in Europe. He gets the roll and he gets the first two over Elton Brand. But he's a big boy, Papadopoulos, and Elton Brand. He makes Elton Brand look very tiny. And Elton Brand's not a small man by any comparison. Now let's watch the Greek defense go to work. They're renowned for frustrating teams. Anthony spins, goes baseline. He misses a shot, but he draws a foul. So, so quick off that dribble. That's where Greece are going to have trouble. When the US works the short base like that, Carmelo Anthony, we saw that the other night against Germany. They finally cracked that zone defense. It was because they were able to work the short base line just like Carmelo Anthony did there. Anthony, first free throws of the ball game. A little bend to the knees, he's got it. And Greeks still lead 2-1, to one. early moments. I don't see a lot of American fans or flags flying around the, the stadium, Bob, but there's a lot of Greek presence. Yeah, that's interesting. As I said earlier, probably American fans don't regard this tournament very highly. And their fans probably don't turn out like they would at the Olympics. Well, you tell that to uh, this USA team and their coaching staff. They won't want to hear that at all. I'm sure they won't. But if you look around, you're right. We don't see many American flags waving unless they're being very quiet and polite. Greece. Down to two seconds on that shot clock. Somebody's got to put it in the air. There's the shot. Doesn't beat the buzzer. Good defense by the U.S. Able to keep the Greeks without taking a decent shot or at least getting them into the offense. And that was because of that full court pressure. They were able to stop the Greece getting the ball up. Well, number 10, Hazi Vretis just uh, lost track of the shot clock time. The steal from Greece. And Diamantidis, the point guard with the ball. He's a left-hander, crossover dribble, the kick back to Papadopoulos. And the foul is going to be on Heinrich, I do believe. His first foul. Hyperactive guard, very, very strong defensively. Chicago ball, Kirk Heinrich. They think that Heinrich and uh, Joe Johnson are the two best defensive guards they've got, as well as their two best shooters from the outside. Diamantidis finds Kakiusis into the paint, but it's stolen. Anthony, and he's looking to run. Now he'll go baseline. Oh, he was left just for a moment. The kick out pass into the corner, Heinrich. And that'll be there all day long for Joe Johnson and Kirk Heinrich. As I said, Bob, they are the two shooters that the U.S. won. They're both great defenders, and two, they're both great outside shooters. Hence why Coach K's got them in. And look at the offense with Greece. An easy basket. Yep. Kakiusis, the Hylas Kakiusis puts it down. United States by one. 5-4. Heinrich pulls up, misses that shot. He knocked down a three just seconds ago. Both teams making a couple early on, but several misses as well. They'll settle into a routine within five minutes, I'm sure of that. The nerves will be gone, and then it's down to knock them out basketball. Knockout round here. Foul on Joe Johnson, the Atlanta Hawks scorer. Not quite knockout. The loser will play off for third and fourth. Diamantides is fouled. Johnson collects his first foul. Joe Johnson plays for the Hawks. 201 centimeters tall. Papadopoulos backing in against Brand. The turnaround jump shot. Brand gets a hand to it. That was like slow motion. You've got to make a quicker move. The steal. The pass ahead. The jump. 
It's there. Hussey Bretters gets a runaway dunk. And the steal. The great are putting on lots of defensive pressure on the American guards. Well, they'll have their hands all over the Americans. Pushing, checking, body checking. Constantly staying in touch. The reach in there. Elton Brand in the middle. It doesn't go down. Ball knocked out of bounds by Greece. Papadopoulos is a big body. He's got a big reach. Elton Brand there. He has to use his athleticism, but still Papadopoulos with that long reach was able to get it out of his hand. Fascinating basketball games for you today. The first one, Greece versus the United States of America. The first semifinal here at Saitama. The kick out into the corner. Heinrich again into the corner for the three. And see how hard Elton Brand is having to work inside that, that defense of the Greeks. Well, that was like an instant replay with a different outcome. Heinrich made the last one from that exact spot on the court. 6-5, Greece, 5-59. Left to play in the first quarter. Papadopoulos, and finally, finally, the rough whistles. Too much contact from Elton Brand. What he's saying is, put a brand on his back, actually. What he's saying is you can uh, put the elbow flat into the, to the small of the back, but you can't extend that elbow. Once you extend that elbow, that is an automatic foul. The kick-out pass. Kucky uses back into Papadopoulos. Once again, in against Brand, a kick-out. And Kucky uses all alone. He throws a bit of a clunker. 207 centimeter 29 year old cocky uses Carmelo Anthony so so quick on the dribble but he misses a shot well as soon as the screen was set by Elton Brand he cut the great defense to shreds unfortunately couldn't finish Papadopoulos two fouls now for Greece that brings in baby Shaq now when you said in the pre-game talk that Baby Shaq was 150 kg. I believe you were lying. You were just going straight off the media guide. I think he's at least 170 bucks. <laughs> I actually read that in one of the newspapers this morning. Baby Shaq, a massive, massive man. You wait till he's shooting a free throw and he'll take up most of your wide, flat screen. There he is there. Ouch, ouch. There was an earthquake in Tokyo yesterday during the game. I think it was Baby Shaq just shifting his chair. <laughs> 4.8 on the Richter scale, apparently. Shot goes down, United States back into lead, 7-6. Greece under pressure. They will be. United States played very, very good defense, very active. The shot from the baseline, Diamantidis screaming for the foul. And here we go, easy dunk. Well, the U.S. had three guys out on the break there, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Joe Johnson. Well, too many of the Greeks back in the temple pleading their case with the referees. They just forgot about getting back on defense that time. Here he is, Shuxinitis. Brand gets his hand to the ball. He blocks it, but he's also called for a foul. Wow. Look how big he is out here for Elton yeah. Brand. Now, Elton Brand is a superstar and for the L.A. Clippers in the NBA. Here's another amazing fact for you. Short Shinaitis is 21 years old. So with the timeout taken, 4.51 left to play in the first period. The United States leading Greece 9-6. Well, a good shot of the stadium and the entertainment during the timeout break here. 72 games of basketball and it comes down to four unbeaten teams, two of them in the first, the opener here, Greece versus the United States of America. And Greece shooting 43%, the United States 29% already. And in the evening game, it'll be Argentina versus España. Wow, what matchups. Basketball at its best, best on the planet. The Greeks looking pretty relaxed. There he is, baby Shaq. Sophocles Shortsianitis. 2.08 meters tall and 150 kg, roughly. 21 years old. Assist, assist. At the line. 
Well, new player in the ballgame in the United States. The exciting, the dynamic, they do everything with pizzazz. Dwayne Wade. The man's glowing already. Plays for the Heat. And he's ready. Shorts Unitas. This is his first free throw. 0 of 1 from the free throw stripe for Greece. It's such a crucial part of the game. 1 of 2. Two point lead. United States. 9 to 7. Wade and Chris Paul now into the game at point guard for the USA. LeBron James, Elton Brand, and Anthony. James. Oh, he just protects the ball so well. He's so good in the air. How do you stop it? Well, that's the problem the Greeks have to solve because they can't keep playing a man-to-man -man defense with guys like LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade. They can all take their man one-on-one. -on -one. That's what they make their living on, one-on-one -on -one basketball. Well, that's right. They sort of developed that game as a form of entertainment in the United States. The foul from behind, Dwayne Wade. Oh, yes. Ball was thrown high and bounced twice and went in. Wade just watched it go in and somewhat bemused. Oh, the crowd here in Saitama loving it. Dwayne Wade. Don't really see the foul there, but LeBron James just threw it up and it went in. Could he do that again? Never. No. <laughs> Dimitris Diamantidis, he's got the first left-handed player, very, very competent, averaging nine points per game. Only two players in the Greek squad averaging over ten, and that's Spanoulis and Fotsis. And for the United States, three players, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Carmelo Anthony. it down, tear it up, throw it away. Dwight Howard from the Orlando Magic. What a great pass from LeBron James. That wasn't magical so much as it was threatening. Definite. Diamantidis, trouble way outside. The kick. Oh, that's good defense by the U.S. Yep. They are starting to show some defense. Early on in the game, Bob. Yeah, they've come out ready to play. Sean Battier. Shane Battier replacing Carmelo Anthony. The United States playing very tough defense. Greece having trouble even running an offense. Spanoulis off the glass. Did he call it? No, he didn't call it. We, we heard the other day one of the American players calling glass. I think it was Joe Johnson called glass when he shot it. LeBron James. Diamantidis. Well, James left all alone, top of the key, misses it. Oh, my oh, goodness, Dwight Allen! He just pounded it. Oh, my goodness. Would what you hate to be one of those basketball rims? They're taking monstrous punishment early in the game here. 16-12. From the side, shot doesn't go down. The baby Shaq gets it. Ripped out of his hands by Chris Paul. The United States want to run it if they can. Paul, the kickback. Dwayne Wade. Can't get it. Rebounding power, United States. Over to Diamond TDs, number 13. Well, he hit the foul him because Dwight Howard was about to tear that room down again. And Dwayne Wade is having a very, very bad shooting streak right now. And there you go. That, that was a slam dunk. But Dwayne Wade, even though he's one of the U.S. leading scorers from the three-point line, is having an absolute shocker in the last two or three games. Well, such is the strength in the U.S. team. They sub Wayne off, and they put someone like Chris Bosh in. Strength for strength. It's just a, a different set of skills that just have so much talent in this team. Howard. I like their attitude towards this game, Bob, the U.S., in terms of their defense. Oh, I do, too. It's, they've, they've come to play. They're right in the faces of the Greek players. There's Gabby! Reverse jam. Who needs to be able to shoot three-pointers when you can go as a guard, offensive, get an offensive board, and get a... Look where he came from, the top of the keyhole, to get that. Yep, somebody didn't box him off. That's so basic. 
the Greeks normally take pretty good control of the defensive backboard. Into the corner, bad pass, Benoulas reaching for it, and the Greeks are really under pressure. And they've committed four turnovers already. Just from defensive intensity put on them by the United States. 18-12. The States opening up a six-point gap. There's two minutes and ten seconds to play. Wade loses the ball on the dribble. It's on the floor. He gets it right back. The kick out. Batir. Net. Oh, a little messy. And from behind, Bosch pushing, trying to get to the board. Commits the foul. You see the look of disbelief in his, on his face and in his body gestures. Papalukas, number four, they're being talked to by Spanoulis, number seven. Two key players for the Greeks. And now, Chris Bosch, not happy, picks up his first foul. And this is interesting. A player on the free throw line, the other four Greek players back, having a conversation with their coach. And now the referee's over there saying, this is not a timeout, boys. So the Greeks willing to give up any chance of a rebound on the shooting by Papalukas. No, sorry, it's no, uh, puts Putsus. Us, puts us shooting the free throw. Not a Greek rebounder anywhere near the basket. They were there confident that Putsus was going to make those two. Satsaris, number 12, into the game for Greece. They go into full court pressure, and Chris Paul just weaving his way amongst three players. Batir. Back to Batir, such a great outside shooter. A kick across, Dwayne Wade. Watch him go into high gear. Oh, oh, look at the man in the air. So creative. And everyone, oh, as he misses, but this is the sort of thing Dwayne Wade can do. Nuri had the big nothing this guy couldn't do. Oh. On the line, Dwayne Wade. He's averaging just over 17 points a game, but yet to warm up in this one. 18-14, the Greeks have come back. Well, it was six, they're down to four. I guess that's a bit of a comeback. And Wade misses the both shots. Diamantinis, one of the smaller players on the floor, rebounds off that missed free throw. Man-to-man -man defense, lots of pressure from the USA. Baby Shaq puts the body on Chris Paul. There's a mismatch. Inside, the kickout pass. It goes out of bounds. Off Shane Matier, they say. Four seconds on the shot clock for Greece to get a shot up here, to get a decent shot up around the fourth one. They could get it in, make one pass. Spanoulis jumps back in. The shot is blocked nicely by Matier. And away goes Chris Paul. And the foul. On number four, Papa Lucas. Papa Lucas reaching in right here. <laughs> well, Chris Paul was lucky he didn't get called for an offensive and foul because he did actually push off with his left hand, with his off hand. That's probably what Papa Lucas was telling the referee about. A little messy, but it drops. The United States now shooting. Six of nine for the free throw line. Not a bad job early on. One minute, 17 seconds to play. And Howard comes from nowhere, kicks the ball high. Wade into Howard, gives it out the tier. A lot of time on the shot clock. That's four passes and still 15 seconds to go. Chris Paul. Gets his rhythm. Puts it up. The putback doesn't go down. Well, there was a number of U.S. players, but here, Dwayne Wade, all grabbing the rim on that shot. Now, well, baby Shaq down. He won't like that. Spanoulis kicks it out. Diamantides into the lane. Weaves his way down the lane. He gets it up, and who's the foul going to be on? I think it's Howard by the look of him. Number 12, or is it Batir? I was on Shane Batia, and as you see on the replay, that was yep. Shane Batia's hand up on the rim there. That last offensive play by the U.S. It certainly is high-altitude basketball. 
you're scared of heights, you won't <laughs> want to be out there rebounding, no. that's for sure. Well, Diamantidis misses. He's averaging nine points a game. He's got two points in the ball game. Two of three from the free throw line. Second to come. 19-14 game, USA. Misses both of them. And Howard comes down with a rebound, no doubt about it. And the pick out front on Spanoulis. Chris Bosch in the free throw line, gets it back outside. Dwayne Wade, it's a charge, he lowered his shoulder. If he'd stayed upright, he would have been fouled, but watch right here, boom. You see him tuck his shoulder under. Well, I'm a Dwayne Wade fan, and I've got to say, the Greek player was moving, Bob. You think so? I think so. I, I don't want my bias to come through in the commentary, but I just think the Greek player was moving. Well, he probably was, but as I say, he lowered the shoulder, and it was an yeah. obvious sort of tucking in the arm. The shoulder goes into the chest, moving or not. Well, Mike, that's an offensive he... move that's going to create a foul. The U.S. coach is having a lot of words to the referees about that chance. Well, I must be right. The referee called it my way. 19-14, USA by five into the corner. The block shot by Chris Bosch. And the foul, Foxes trying to get the ball back, commits a foul. Well, it's just too slow getting the, the three away. Well, it was a great little block by Chris Bosch. He's got incredibly long arms. And Foxes got a block and decided to go after it. By that stage, there's too many Americans around the ball. And he fouls. So we go down the other end. Both teams in the penalty. Well, if you're wondering why Europe's best center, reputed to be so, is still out of the game. He got an early two fouls, and he's on the bench for Greece. He probably won't come in until midway through the second period. They cannot afford to have him on three fouls too early in the game. Bosch misses. The United States now 6 of 11, dropping away. The percentage, that is, on the free throw line. The left-hander with his second. He's got it. And Bosch, a very, very big player, 2.08, 22-year-old, another one of these young players. Well, the shot from Papalukas does not drop. The Hooters sounds the United States, at the end of 10 minutes of play, have a 20 to 14 lead over Greece. Well, the Greeks getting their orders early in the game here. Three of seven in the two-point area, 43% versus the United States, five of eight, which is 63%. Here's early offensive magic. Well, not magic, just a very, very nice shot from Papalukas. Papadopoulos it is, the big center. And the steal, Diamond. It's number 10, Hazi Vretis. And LeBron James, so much time in the air. Oh, yes, and the punishing of the basket by Howard. There were some good moments. The United States into a six point lead, 2014. First of the semifinals here. The place is packed. And this is what everybody's been waiting for. Semifinal day. Offensive rebounds, that's a very telling statistic. Six to the United States. None, zip, nil, not, nothing for Greece. Well, judging from that little chorus, you'd say they're going out to do their best, do or die for country. Well, if you Greece should be fairly happy with that quarter because of the fact that the U.S. only scored 20 in the quarter because they are averaging close to 110 a game, the U.S. So that's nowhere near that 110 pace. The thing that you'd be worried about is yourself, you only scored 14 points, which shows the intensity of the U.S. defense. Oh, yes, it's been a surprise. It's been a delight, actually. They're just all over the Greek players. 
when Greece is on offense. Paul now guarded by Spanoulis. Carmelo Anthony back in the game. Very hot and cold type of player, but when he's hot, nothing but nothing misses. LeBron James, baseline jumper. He's got it. He's turned into Mr. Steady. He's still a very young player, 21 years old, and he looks like one of the old hands out there. He is, in fact, an experience. Mental preparation, self-belief, fantastic. Spanulis inside. Papadopoulos protects that off the glass, and he gets the hook. He's not intimidated. He might not be the prettiest player, but he does the job. And what he does do, you can throw that right or left-hand hook shot in the lane. A charge, yes, LeBron James lowers the shoulder. Probably another one of Jeff's favorite players. He'll argue otherwise, but James lowered the boom and collects a foul. You know, I've got to say that was an offensive charge, Bob. And LeBron James is not one. Of, LeBron and Carmelo Anthony, I don't. They're all right players. But uh, yeah, there are some better players. I'll tell them what you said at <laughs> halftime, Jeff. Spanulis under pressure out front. Greece having trouble getting on track. The three. Oh, the foul that LeBron, LeBron James, James hit him. As he put the shot up, LeBron James just so wincing, groaning out. It's going to be a three-shot foul, 22-16. This could be costly to the United States if, that's a big if, Spanulis can hit all three of them. He's on three now. He's one of one for the free throw line. Number one. Spanulis. LeBron James is a long way away from him as well, but the referee said he got him on the shooting iron, coming down. Spanoulis is not really that interested. All he wants to do is get his three free throws off. Well, it's highly likely he's going to make all three. He's a 90% 90, 90 free throw shooter in this tournament. There it is. Now, Greece, step up, trying to put a bit of defensive pressure on the United States. We've got a three-point ball game, 22-19. That was a costly foul out beyond the three, the three-point arc. Anthony backing in. Tsitsaras keeps him out. Anthony, the step-back jumper, knocks it down. That's what I don't like about Carmelo Anthony's game at the World Championships. He tends to look for that one-on-one -on -one action all the time and, and tends to shoot the ball even though that's not within the offensive sets. Well, Jeff, it's probably like all he knows. That's what he's report, rewarded for in the NBA. That's what his pay depends on, so that's what he's going to do. Nice. Oh, oh, oh LeBron James. Off a great Joe Johnson pass on the fast break. And that's where the Americans are dangerous, out in the open court. Well, I know awesome is an uh, overused term, but perfectly apt to describe that shot that fast break awesome the foul goes against Howard I do believe I want to beat this man Joe Johnson Dwight Howard yep Howard it's the end of the fast break the slam dunk by LeBron James there on screen one of the legions of NCAA basketball, Coach Jim Bayham, Bayham from uh, Syracuse University. Papadopoulos with his second free throw. 26-20 ball game. He's got them both. And now Greece shooting 10 of 13. They're doing the job from the free throw strike. They're staying within pretty close distance of the United States. We got 740 left to play in the first half. Anthony goes one on one again. So many moves. Boy, it's hard one on to one like it. that is okay because that's within the offensive set. But it's when he gets uh, the ball and then just stands and everyone else stands around watching him is what I don't like about his offense. Sotsaris, the kick over to Diamantides. He drives in, gives it to Papadopoulos. The steal, Anthony wins the race and gets the two. 
Papalukas wisely stayed away from him. No sense in fouling him. They've got to run away too, and suddenly it's a 30-21 spread. Greece are the European champions. That's how good these guys are that the USA are playing, the current European champions. Look, the United States jump-stopped that pick and roll before it even got started. They're just so quick. And we've got a charging foul, an offensive foul with the elbow reaching, hooking, it's called against Papadopoulos right here. here. Yep, good call. He held Elton Brand with his off hand just enough to try and get the shot off. But what was good about that was Elton Brand was quick enough to come back and block the shot still. 6.45 left in the first half. Timeout taken by Greece. They trail the United States 30 to 21. Well, the roof camera shot looking down on the United States bench. And we've just checked our shot chart. You can't see it, but the United States scoring very, very close in under the basket. It's a pretty stark view. For Greece, well, pretty much the same, but they've got a couple of threes. And highlights thus far, well, dunks. Uh, those aren't different shots. It's all the same dunk. That one's a different one. That's Dwayne Wade. Do you like it? If so, stand up and cheer. Oh, ouch. Those dunks are vicious. That was some power oh. and authority, Bob. Look at the Americans, 10 of 13 from the two-point line, a uh, two-point field goal, 77%. That's a huge shooting percentage. Well, it is. And that's Especially when you're getting dunks, though. That's right. That's right. Most of those shots, as we said, looking at our shot chart, are coming from three, four, five feet. That means putbacks and layups. And from the corner, just as I say that, Joe Johnson connects. Well, we're going to keep uh, Joe Johnson quiet for a long time, the Atlanta Hawks scorer. And Greece is in some trouble now. 33-21, 6-17. Left to play, first half. Papadopoulos gets a nice feed. Papalukas, lots of Papas out there. Well, Papadopoulos, he's been left alone a lot because there's the help defense comes across. Because the U.S. know Papadopoulos isn't going to beat you. Chris Heinrich trying to suck a foul out of Diamantidis. There's the pick up the top. Johnson right back where he was a moment ago. It was not an instant replay. The outcome was different. 33-23, 10 point spread. Underneath, put the ball stolen so quickly by Anthony. That's the quickness of the Americans. The are, those, of them. are those hands licensed? What's the, they're just straight in there. Ouch. And he was just too slow to bring the ball up. They pounced on it. Double 15, that's Carmelo Anthony, sits down. License to steal. Baby Shaq back into the ball game for Greece. Papalukas looking for Baby Shaq. Had the baseline, gave it up. Don't know why. Spanoulis now one second on the shot clock, has to throw it from downtown. He misses, and the United States compliments of Chris Paul on the way. Well, Kirk Heinrich, I don't know what he was thinking because that's his shot. That's what the U.S. want him to do, is shoot the ball in the corner. He inexplicably decides yeah. against it, comes down. That's unusual. Highly unusual. Yeah. Funny and unusual. If you talk to him in a kindly way, you'd find out what sort of plan he had in his mind, Kip. Check. Oh, he misses the dunk. He should have gone for the easy, conservative two, and a big block. Diamantini's Greece, if they can drop this, could create some excitement. The foul, oh, Heinrich. Foul right in front of the referee. Kirk Heinrich is beside himself. The U.S. bench is up, everyone. Yannikis, the coach of Greece. Smoothing down his hair. Pretty wild passage of play for the last 60 seconds or so. And now three free throws coming for the Greek team. This is the second time they've been fouled shooting beyond the arc. That's a sin. That's a cardinal sin. The same man, the recipient of the free throws. 
He got three the last time. Danulis. It's just a little hesitation in that shot. It looks like he suddenly had a second thought, but he shoots 90% plus. Six in a row. Spanulis, 100% from the free throw line, 33-26. Just what the Greeks ordered. Into the corner, Chris Paul, kick back. Heinrich, this time, he doesn't wait, he puts it up. Papa Lucas gives it to Diamantinis and they beat the United States down the floor and get the runaway two. They close it down the five. Heinrich, the side's better of it, comes back out. And the kick by Diamantinis resets the shot clock. The Greeks are excited. 33-28. They were down by 11 points and have come right back into the ballgame. They're not intimidated by any stretch of the ima imagination at this point in time. Greece haven't got to the semi-final game by being intimidated. They've stuck to their game plan. Joe Johnson working against Baby Shaq. Left alone, a brick. That was Dwayne Wade. We don't often get to say that when Wade is shooting. It was a clunker, there's no two ways about that. Well short. Baby Shaq trying to put a body on Joe Johnson, the drive to the hoop. Hey, Papa Lucas taking the game by the scruff of the neck and the Greeks have roared back into contention here. 33-30 and 3.51 left in the first half. Forces the United States to take a timeout, a run. 9-0 in favor of Greece. Very, very interesting basketball game. First semifinal. There's Papalukas. Theodoros Papalukas, 29-year-old, two meters tall. He's sort of the offensive spark plug in this team. When he starts to run and move the ball, push the ball up the floor like he's doing there, things begin to happen for Greece. He comes off the pick, bam, there's an opening and away he goes. Johnson can't stay with it. Papalukas gets the two and that creates a three point ball game, 33-30. The Greeks look like they were fading away, just disappearing somewhere up under the Parthenon. They've come back down, they're playing hard. The United States have felt the fury of the Greek onslaught. A 9-0 run to Greece. And still, Greece without an offensive rebound. That is an amazing little piece of information here. Yanaikas, the Greek coach, has known Krasuski, the American coach, for many years. Since they were young, in their playing days, I understand. They've been friends for a long time. Coach K has done a lot of coaching clinics in Europe with the Greek coach. As you say, they are good friends long time. As Coach K says, when they were young. A long time ago. <laughs> Many moons ago. LeBron James back in the ball game. Immediately takes a shot. Can't get it. The putback no good. And Howard is just so incredibly strong. <laughs> so you just love him. Dwight Howard doesn't know the meaning of a simple layup. You try to get the tip and he gets the ball here, powers up for another dunk. How do you stop him? This guy is magic. Another, Plays for the magic. Another offensive uh, rebound for the US. Such massive shoulders. Look at him. Another one of the youngsters. <laughs> Just a boy. Howard, 20 years old, 211 centimeters tall. He's just a boy. Johnson out front, guarding Pup. Spanoulis. Diamitidis gets the three, gets a good look and knocks it down. Well, the great thread, a great little set there, and Chris Paul got caught on a lot of screens. It was just too easy in the end for the Greek offense. 
James. Inside pass, Howard misses a shot. Baby Shaq clears the board. There's a pass underneath. He's got it! Oh! 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 They punish that backboard. What a great shot. Great pass here by Papa Lucas, too. Inside for the big boy. Spanulis is called for a foul defensively. He cannot afford to get in foul trouble. He occasionally gives away a foolish one. That's the second foul on Vasilis Spanulis. Well, we're all so excited about that dunk by Baby Shaq. The rim is the silly foul. Yes, he was still shuffling his feet to try to get in front of Chris Paul. He collects a second foul. He's got to keep in mind that's it for the first half, not to have another one. Chris Paul, skipping, comes over halfway. LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, so explosive. He's going baseline. How he gets around, I do not know. Cuck uses. Picks up a foul. And now it's one-on-one -on -one offense from the United States, but with their foot speed, they usually get something either fouled or a good look at the basket. High to James again. Cross-court kick. Back to James. Corner. Joe Johnson inside. Oh, that was nice a great lead. Pass by Duda. Jumps the deep ball. Chris Bosch was able to finish off very, very easily. Short Unitas gives it up. While the United States have sort of stopped the Greek momentum, Baby Shaq gets a nice pass inside. Threads the needle, does Spanoulis, and Short Unitas gets the two. 38-37, USA by one. Ball goes out of bounds off Carmelo Anthony. And Greece has the opportunity now to take back the lead with this next offensive set. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of sour looks on the players wearing the blue shirts. They're beginning to whinge and bleat a bit on every call that goes against them. I wish they wouldn't do that. They've got far more talent than to do that. Papa Lucas, Baby Shaq. Oh, he's another one. Oh, oh, the big boy. Oh, hell. The Red Sea parted as the Big Mac truck drove to the bucket. The Blue Sea, it was be decked in red. Paul, changeover dribble, throws it in the air. He was tripped. There was no whistle. And now it's four, five on four. The kickback. Diamond Tides takes it back outside. Chris Paul back now in the game. Short Zinaitis, he gets it. A little jump hook. He's just destroying the United States. 41-33, one minute, 10 seconds to play. First half. The Greeks causing all sorts of problems. Another turnover by Chris Paul. Trying to thread the needle. While the blowtorch on the United States now. Well, he gets the roll. The spinning dribble, Papa Lucas. Somebody went down throwing to Hollywood. There was no whistle. And the Greeks have brought the crowd to life here. They're on their feet cheering, especially the Greek crowd directly across from us as they roar into a 43-38 lead with 47.7 seconds left to play first half. Greece on an 8-0 run against this powerful U.S. team. One of the things, Bob, sure, the fans are getting right into this. The Greek fans are on their feet. Unfortunately, the Japanese fans don't tend to jump up and down. They, they sit there all excited and clap, but, you know, Georgianitis is just being absolutely a powerhouse inside for the Greeks. He's done everything. He's run lanes, rebounded, taken up space defensively, and he's been able to finish layups at the other end. Well, you're right, Jim. And looking at uh, some other statistics, Greece are actually outscoring the United States in the paint 24-20. That's an interesting little statistic. And Short Zinaitis now has nine points. Four or five shooting. He's one of two from the free throw line. The Greek percentage is up to 67% from the two-point area. 29% for three is the United States. 57 and 20 
100% respectively. Well, it's turnovers that are hurting the US right now. And that last couple of passages of play, they turned the ball over twice. They've got nine for the game compared to Greece's six turnovers. Well, when Greece can penetrate, they usually create a little havoc. They've been going to the hoop and getting the two. When they're forced to shoot out high and can't get into their offensive set, they struggle. And there is another turnover off against the zone. Like, Greece now back into a man-to-man, -man, but it's, it's very hard. It might be a fallback zone. They might go back into their zone. Now they're man-to-man -man now. Down the lane, the kick-out pass. Heinrich, little practice shot, he makes it. To no avail, number 13, Diamond Tidis. Has called for the foul, and that's going to be his second. And the big guy, Lazaros Papadopoulos, number 14, has picked up his third foul, and he's on the bench. He comes in, he does so well, the whistle blows, and then he buys a ticket to the Pine for long periods of time, and they need him on the court. Special K on the bench. Watching a fascinating basketball game. Greece by three, 43-40, and down to 25 seconds. Shot clock about six seconds fewer than that. That's the differential. Papalukas goes to the hoop. That left-handed layup. It's there. It's a five-point ball game. United oh, States defense from the U.S. there. At Coming across that second time he's done that, Bob. Down the lane. Down to six seconds. Inside. The block. Oh, yes. Our Carmelo Anthony had a shot clock. There's a little minor humiliation, but the foul is committed by Satsaris, number 12. Wang. Well, he did get a lot of basketball, but he also got a lot of arms. Oh, yes, he was. He did commit the foul, no doubt about it. Anthony probably wouldn't have suspected that or expected it. Timeout taken, 3.4 seconds by Greece. The United States trailing them, 45-40. And while we're talking about Baby Shaq, that's the man. We're talking about Sophocles Shortsionitis. There he is. Boom. 150 kg and so adroit so light on his feet relatively speaking thunderous dunks for the big man he's 21 years old that's the other amazing little piece of information right now the u.s is staring down a, a five-point deficit perhaps going into the half and they've got to work out a way of one stopping the penetration of the Greek guard because Papa Lucas is just having his way going to his left hand making left hand layups that's the first thing and secondly the US have got to try and find a way to get more easier shots off rather than turning the ball over. They turn the ball over so much at the moment that they haven't been able to get into the rhythm in the second quarter. Here's the situation. Two free throws on that missed dunk by Anthony. He makes the first, second to come, and there's actually 3.4 seconds. It shows four on your screen. Left to play in the first half. Greek. The Greece, uh, Greek players get the rebound. And the shot from halfway gets a good look. Does Diamond Tides, but it doesn't drop. And so, at the end of 20 minutes of play, the United States slightly stunned here in the last four minutes of that first half. They see their lead slip away, and Greece into the lead, 45-41. And they've outscored the United States by 10 points, as you see there in the second period, a complete turnaround from the first period. do what they sometimes do they seem to go back to that aloof cool attitude they have and suddenly Greece put a full court press, uh, press on them and came straight back at them outscoring them 22 to 5 in the last six minutes of the first half fascinating basketball United States under pressure Greek 
Reese will inbound the ball, and in 2.2 seconds, we'll be ready for the second 20 minutes of the first semifinal match. Greece leading the United States 45-41. Here we go, final 20 minutes of the ball game. It's gonna be great, Bob. Hold on to your seat. Well, it is great basketball. It's tight and tough. Spanoulis dribbles out of trouble. Diamantidis, nice shot from in the paint, and he gets it. Three score first. 47-41. A lot of stunned people around. LeBron James. Not great fans, though. Six points for this guy. He could do far more offensively, but he's playing so unselfishly. Heinrich gives it to Howard. Howard playing so well in the first half, gets the first two for the United States. 47-43, 9-15. Left in period three. And the big man, Baby Shaq, played so well in the first half, stunned the United States with his athleticism and his sheer strength. And reaching in is Heinrich. He's talking, talking, talking to the referee. Yep, he impedes the progress with that right hand. And then he reaches around left. What's he doing? Don't I quite understand. It's unusual for Heinrich. Yeah. Because he is such a good defender. But that's his third foul. Yep. Three point shot from Brice Marion. Puts us. And puts us. Seven point lead now for Greece. LeBron James. So creative with the ball, and yet he gives it up. He's playing like a point guard. Oh, Kirk Heinrich comes back with three. Could have got ugly if he had missed that. Indeed, that was a big shot. That keeps him within four. Here's a man who sort of ignites Greece. Every now and then, he decides to run. Kotsis in the lane. He gets it, and the preaching foul by Carmelo Anthony. The follow through two counts. Bit of hurried consultation under the bucket by the United States and Coach Special K is a bit of a worried man. What's this? What's this at the line for two? Sorry, for that and one. He misses it. This is a free throw, they're shooting 13 of 17 as the entire Greek team doing the job at the free throw line. Anthony, so quick, goes into baby Shaq. Shaq comes up to meet him, and Anthony rebounds to halfway. Looks like he's walking off the court. He's out of the game. He's still walking down to his the opposite end of the court. Now he comes back. You see him deep, deep, deep in the shot there. He walked almost the length of the court, collecting his wins, I suppose, getting his breath. He may have been winded. It's a big body to run into. Not quite back with us, and now he turns. He walks almost out to halfway. Yep, now he crosses a halfway strike. Well, he is uh, holding his chest. Comes back. There's something about taking too much time on free throws. Boy, would that get him mad. 52-46. This is both of them. Well, the Greeks will bump you. They'll put handprints all over your body. They'll introduce themselves to you at close range constantly throughout the game. It's the way they play. The United States very physical themselves, but I don't think like they like the constant attention. Baby Shaq picks it up, and he gets it. Nice block in the air, but then he picked the ball up the floor and got the two. Watch this. The block, beautiful, and the pickup. That was a big body for LeBron James to get around. As Carmelo Anthony gets the two down the other end. Keep the U.S. Yes, and there's another layup. Johnson This guy's playing the game of his life, his young life, 21 years old, and he gets down there and puts the body on Howard. Smack. Oh, he got a lot of ball, too. He goes high. That was on LeBron James. 
200, 208 centimeters tall, a monstrous man, 150 kg, as reported in the newspaper, so I'm not making that up, 56-48, Greece leading the United States, Dwayne Wade in the game, Elton Brand is coming to the game as well, well Brand had such a good first half, I'm surprised he hasn't played more, Jeff. Well, he hit those two fouls, Bob, so... Oh, my goodness, the United States under pressure. Wade, he misses the dunk, and it's Baby Shaq once again. The intimidator. Wow, well, that's his third foul. Now that's three fouls. So the U.S. is going right at him, because he has been a danger man. Certainly has. Shortsonitis leaves the game on three fouls. He's got 13 points. He's shooting six for seven. 86% in the two-point area, one of two from the free throw line. And the United States now have to be worried about their free throw shooting. It's down to 52%, 11 of 21. Wait. Checks to make sure it's up there. Bounces it a couple of times. And drops it. 56, the last time he was at the free throw line. Yeah, two clunkers. What's going on behind that calm exterior? Concentration, that's what it is. Grease up by six. Diamantides with the ball out front, guarded by LeBron James. Sitsaris. Gives the ball off. Spanoulis almost loses it on the dribble. Chris Paul staying with him. Oh, look at oh, that. Spanoulis comes up the pick and roll. What a great shot. a smile three. on them. Anthony falls over. Look, Fotz is what? disgusted with the call. Well, Spanulis, number seven, picks up the foul. Protesting it was... Well, Fotsis and Papa Lucas, uh, they're really going at each other in terms of, I got that foul because you didn't help out or something like that. Well, the they've just got to keep their cool. They've got a nine-point lead. They don't need to be arguing amongst each other. And now a substitute before they can inbound the ball for Greece. Number 11. Here we go. Dakotis, he hasn't been in the game yet. What a time to come in from the corner. Paul, back to James, from out beyond the arc, and Spanulis, the guard, pulls it down. Diamantini's number thir 13, controlling things at the front. He's done such a great job out there. Now LeBron James marking him, Diamantini's shaping up to him there's three seconds on the shot clock he's got to put it in the air he does he's got it can you believe it the greek oh, gods are grinning chuckling smiling down 12 point lead now to the greek national team the european champions lebron james kicks it out he's going to be fouled satsaris i believe it is number 12 picks up a foul and they put the united states back on the testing line again it used to be the charity stripe, but now it's the, character, the test of character line. Because they're shooting 13 of 23, 57%. James misses. It certainly is a testing time for the United States. 62-50, Greece. Six minutes left to play, third period. Now we'll see whether they deserve the number one ranking in the world, this USA team, Bob. Entering the game, Hazi Bratis replacing Spanulis. Spanulis goes off at the moment. He's on three fouls. There's one, two, three players, four players for Greece on three fouls. And only one for the United States. That's Heinrich, the little guard. Papalukas. Sotsaris. He's got it. Shooting like that. Shooting like that wins your semi-final matches. Well, you can't you believe it. team that reached and leaves shooters wide open. The U.S. hasn't 
worked out that these bigs from European countries can shoot the ball. Oh, nice pass underneath. So quiet under there, Dwayne Wade. Chris Paul saw him, threw a bullet pass to him, and he gets the two off a dunk. Like a that, rattlesnake, they bite quickly. Their problems aren't there, though, Bob. Their problems for the U.S. team is they haven't defended the pick and roll. They keep leaving the bigs open, as we're seeing. Oh, what a lovely pass. pass! Oh, my goodness me, that's how it's done. They've been picked to bits, the U.S.A. team. Down 14. The European champions, look at this. That's a no-look, a look-away pass by Papa Lucas. He's not just a pretty shooter. And with 5.08 left to play in the third period, Greece leads the United States 67-53. Can you believe it? Well, the Greek team have stunned the crowd here. Ripping into a 14-point lead. Shooting 50% off three-pointers, 6 of 12. The United States, 3 of 12. 25% is not going to win the ball game. The kick-out pass. Satsaris, I bet this is going to go in. I'm right again. Uncanny. Well, that's the kind of shooting that's given Greece a 14-point lead. The United States, they need to hold up a mirror and say, Look at what you see. Are you ready to play? Do you want to play or not? It's as simple as that. Well, Dwayne Wade, pressure on his show. Well, anybody on the court for the United States now must be feeling the pressure. They were down by four points at halftime. They're down another 10 points on top of that. Wade goes into the lane, he's fouled. Playing him at the top, Jeff, would be a good idea. He's so quick off the dribble. He can penetrate and dish. It's all about the penetration for the US. They've got to get into the heart of that zone. Like the Greeks, that's four fouls, and he's just hit two big three. And Sitsaris on four fouls. Fouls that's mounting that's up against the Greeks. And that's why I was just gonna say, they need to get deep into the lane and try and get more foul trouble on the Greek interior because once the Greeks went to that zone the US struggled big time well Dwayne Wade now three of five from the free throw line the United States 15 of 26 it's been a real test of character in the second half from them from the strike he's got two they might be shooting themselves into a little better position better percentage from the stripe Greece go to work again United States trying to up the defensive tempo pressure. Diamantidis, the pass back inside to go to the hoop. Hey, this guy has come from nowhere. Dikoudis, Demos Dikoudis come off the bench to score four points. From a long way out, Anthony drills it. Big time. Well, the U.S. needs some outside shooting to go down. Now, Pop, that, that Greek zone is, is looking ominous. Papa Lucas into the lane, gives it out. Had a good look, decided against it. The pick on Chris Paul out front. Diamantidis, what's he going to do with it? Seven seconds on the shot clock, crossover dribble. Papa Lucas can't get it, but the follow-in again by Dekudis. The other end, Howard misses it. Rebound, Greece. Papa Lucas. Pulls it up, pass inside. Greece miss it, but they get the offensive board. That's one of the few they've had in the game. No, that wasn't Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard's on the bench. That was Elton Brand missing that inside. Thank you for the correction. Papa Lucas goes the length of the lane and just misses the layup. LeBron James bring it up quickly. They want to run. They kick it out. Anthony. He's got three in a row. Three in a row. Carmelo Anthony. He was absolutely cold from the three-point line the other night. But he's brought the U.S. back to only 10, though. The Greeks have still got a 10-point lead, Bob. Indeed, three minutes and 10 seconds, counting down. Third period, Greece, 10-point lead. It was four at halftime. Backing in, and Chris Paul commits a foul. Every time there's a bump, bump out front. You wait for the whistle to blow. 
Anthony, the kick out, nice shot. Diamantini's being given a little bit of a lesson, a short tutorial by one of the referees at half, halfway. I don't know what that was all about, but it was certainly emphatic. Well, this is an interesting move by the US. They've gone for a very, very small lineup, a very quick lineup. No true center out there. No true power forward, to be honest. No, it's a very good shooting side, though. Diamantidis, nine seconds on the shot clock, inside. Bakudis goes to the hoop, he gets it off the glass. He's just too big, too big. I don't know if he was too big, I just think he was too skillful there. Carmelo Anthony tries three in a row, he misses. Offensive board, resets the shot clock. The United States get another chance. The kickback, Heinrich, Anthony, he's going to try it again. It's just all one-on-one -on -one from him now. The ball knocked out of bounds. There's 12 seconds on the shot clock. Well, the U.S. have got to get down to that magical 10 before the start of the fourth quarter. That's what teams like to try and aim for. How do you play with Carmelo Anthony? He holds the ball, he holds the ball, and you just stand waiting to see what he's going to do. The kick into the corner. He decides to throw it. He misses. Ball's off the glass. Goes to the Greeks. It's on the floor. Greece has it. The spin. The tear. That step. Oh, that step. He took a step by the U.S. Shane Batir, Dwayne Wade were both on the floor, grabbing that ball. And Carmelo Anthony picks it up and makes a layup. That's the commitment of this U.S. team, Bob. They're not out of it yet. Well, that's right. But they missed the, the jump. Anthony picked it up, then took a little hop. They missed that call. And from the baseline, is that fantastic shooting or what? Kai Kiusis knocks it down for Greece. 75, 63, 12 points, one minute, 31 seconds to play. First half, Dwayne Wade, the kick out pass, Johnson, can he hit it? No. A shot here there. on the offensive pass. Uh-oh, this is problems. Problems for Greece. Diamantidis, number 13, is that his fourth foul? No, that's only, that's only three. That's the third foul. That's only three for Diamantini. Well, he goes to the bench. Spanoulis, number seven, and Potsis, number nine, replace him. Both veterans. That's the strength of the Greek team. They can rotate nine or ten players, as can the United States, of course. Well, the problem for Greece going into the fourth quarter, they've got four players on three fouls. And not just any four players, four of their main players. Well, and Satsaris is sitting on four, number 12. Satsaris has hit three points. Diamantinis just went off a of three. He's a leading scorer with 12. Spanulis has 12. And, well, Shortsionitis on three fouls as well has 13. Petir now, second free throw. Dwight Howard for the United States with 10. Pressure coming from the USA. They go to work defensively. Spanulis over halfway. Wade ready to pounce like a cat. Dakutis goes to the hoop. Gets out of the way. Spanulis pulls up. The jump shot blocked by Batir. Brilliant defense. This is the smaller, quicker lineup for the U.S. Trying to make a comeback. Heinrich, the kick across. Dwayne Wade goes to the hoop. He's fouled in the air. Two-shot foul, and that's number 11, Dikudis. That's the benefit of having the small, quick lineup. They're able to penetrate. They're able to get up the floor quicker, and they're able to rotate defensively a lot quicker. LeBron James, their biggest fan out there. It's 6-8. Well, it all becomes a test of character from the character stripe. The shooting test continues from the free throw line, the United States, 17 of 30. Wayne Wade shooting like his teammate at the Miami Heat. Shaquille O'Neal, set like free throw numbers currently. 10 point lead. Spanoulis, as he's done throughout the game, controlling out front. Papa Lucas, this is the man who makes the offense go. And a foul on Batir. Well, that was a quick whistle. They're really having trouble with the pick and roll. 
Well, you've seen the Greeks have just sort of drawn the United States into this take the air out of the ball offense. So deliberate, so slow. The picks come high. The United States trying to fight through them. And then all of a sudden, one of the Greek players will appear open under the basket, into the corner. Dakutis looking for it. Baseline drive, the kick out. And a charge, offensive foul, Fotsis, number nine. That's all right, that's only a second in terms of the Greek team, a they, second foul, but more importantly, it stopped the opportunity for the U.S. to fast break because they were going for the races. And Greek didn't get up a good shot. Greece didn't get up a good shot. Fotsis goes off, he's replaced by number eight. Vesilopoulos, Vesilopoulos it is. His first appearance in the ball game, Vesalopoulos, 2 oh, three meters tall, a 22-year-old. Lots of pressure on him. Dwayne Wade couldn't get it. The runaway, Spanoulis is going to go to the hoop. He'll draw the foul. He gets the two points, no foul. Yes, it is. It's signal good. And that's the end of period three. Greece. Lead the United States 77 65. Remember, it was 45 41 at the end of two periods of play, and Greece have increased their lead. It's now a 12 point ball game. How Dwayne Wade was not fouled on that shot there is amazing. But Vanoulis and the Greek team respond, come down on the buzzer shot, take a 12 point lead into half time. The American coaching staff very animated against the referees. But look at that scoring. 14 in the first quarter, 31 and 32 points to Greece in a quarter. That is unbelievable scoring in anyone's terms, Bob. Well, this is a Greek team that doesn't score big. They're averaging something like 82 a game. They give up 68. Well, they're five away from their average offensively they are just absolutely on fire and they've come in and they've hit some great shots look they're shooting 70 percent from the two-point line the americans are shooting a respectable 59 percent but the key is the three-point shooting six of 12 for the greeks and only five of 17 for the americans that's the difference certainly is very judicious use of the three-pointer by greece and they have scored 42 points in the paint versus 28 for the United States. That's a bit of a stunning statistic. 42 points in the paint for Greece, 28 for the United States. Fast break points now favor Greece, 10 to nine. The thing is, the Americans are staying with the small lineup. The turn of Bron James, Camelo Anthony, Heinrich, Wade, and Joe Johnson. I believe this is their, their best five anyway, and it's a small five. Well, don't go away. Ten fascinating, pulsating minutes of basketball to come. The United States down by 12. They've got to make a run. Wait for it to Wayne Wade, so quick. And one, for the Wayne Wade. And I suspect that's Papa Lucas. And that'll be only his second foul. Well, Dwayne Wade, he should be playing high. He should have the ball in his hand out high. So quick off the dribble. And when he penetrates, you don't know what's going to happen, but you can guarantee two or three things are possible. Because he's got two great shooters on the court, Joe Johnson and Kurt Heinrich, sitting in the wings. As he nails that one, the Americans are back within nine. Yep, that three-point play off the drive and the free throw puts the margin under that double figure. Ten point mark Greece go to work against the rejuvenated United States team and Johnson fouls Dakutis Demos Dakutis and boy has he played a game since coming into the ballgame eight points he scored four or five shooting Greece Papalukas inbounding the ball the throw out high Spanoulis Papalukas 
He's so steady, so steady. 29-year-old, the veteran, one of the veterans in this team, into the corner. Dakutis from the three. That's unbelievable. No, that was number 15, Kakiusis. <laughs> and Kakiusis. every one of them, they've got three players in double figures, Greece, and another three about to go into double figures. Wade throws it away. Over the halfway it goes. They say no, it was spiked ahead by Greece. And a foul committed by number 15, is it? I do believe so. Yep, reaching in. Cuck uses. There you see it. 12-point lead. Free throws now. Carmelo Anthony under the gun. The Americans just can't afford to let the easy baskets the Greeks are finding at the other end. That's, that's their problem. They're not playing good defense in terms of they leave guys open and they're nailing the shots. Well, they are. The United States starting to find, well, just as I thought they were starting to find their range from the free throw line, they miss the second one. Anthony, 20 of 34, they're shooting 59%, just slowly, slowly getting a little bit better, a little more accurate from the free throw line, but they will rue the day if they lose this ball game. That kind of shooting from the free throw line is going to do it. The ball knocked away by Dwayne Wade. This man does so many things for the United States. Heinrich from the three-point line, no good. James gets it back. Carmelo Anthony, pass Another inside. Dwayne great Wade. drive down the lane by Carmelo Anthony. Finding a guard and Dwayne Wade down low for the dunk. Now Greece under pressure. The lead back, cut back to nine points. The United States scores, can score so quickly in bunches even. Greece deliberate, very deliberate again. Well, they once again leave a shooter open. Well, the ball is saved, goes out of bounds off of Dwayne Wade. Greece will get the foot in and it resets the shot clock at 24. That's the last offensive play there, but the U.S. very lucky not to get stung by another three. They continue to leave these three-point shooters up. Oh, yes, the roll. Oh, the roll goodness. gives him more. Carmelo Anthony did not play any defense there. All he did was foul. These are Olympian efforts, heroic efforts, Look mythical proportion. The, the guy was so deep in the lane, he couldn't do anything else but foul. Unbelievable. Wow, look at the look on Chris Paul's face. These guys are in trouble. Can they resurrect things here on the line? Kakiusis, he scored the two. He gets the one, it turns it into a three-point play. 83-71. Still going with the small line up the U.S. Try and come back here. It's about eight minutes to play. Anthony has got it. That's a three for the Anthony. That's his third one. When he's on, he's on. So back, cool. Back to nine though, Bob. It's only nine points. The US, if they're going to make a run, they need to make a defensive stop here. Indeed. Down to 10 seconds. Reese, so deliberate, so deliberate. They're calling for the pick high. Here it comes. Into the corner. Back out. Papa Lucas, that left hand, layup. He's got it. So many times they've sliced into the lane. They've got the easy two. That's his fifth layup. Fatir pressured outside. Wade from three. Can he hit it? He does. Big, big shooting. And the Greeks shouting to one another. A mismatch on defense. They've given up two three-pointers in a row. No, they will not be happy with that. 85-77. Well, Papa Lucas has got it out high. Do you think he's going to go to the left? Inside corner. Nope. To the hoop, the reach-in foul by Batir, and now Greece go to the line. A test of character for them. They're shooting 14 of 18 in the game thus far, and haven't had a free throw for a long passage of play. A lot of talking between Batir and one of the referees. Referees again, Fabio Ficina, Italy, Cristiano Marano, Brazil, and Velosovic, uh, Serbia. You've got to admire the Greeks. What they've been doing here. Okay. 
86, 77, nine point lead. 641 and counting down. United States with possession. Chris Paul gives it up. LeBron James so quiet offensively. Why? 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 The miss. Petir, the kick out. James from the top. Now the miss. Chris Paul. The putback, no good. The kick high. Spanulis has it. Three on two fast break. He pulls out of it. That was Chris Paul, that last three pointer. He was wide open. Failed to get it. United States now 7 of 22 from beyond the arc. Greece 7 of 14. Spanoulis from a long way away. In and out. The putback doesn't go down and Carmelo Anthony comes with the rebound. 86-77. But not only with a rebound, with an emphatic rebound. The spin off the glass. Misses. Greece. Papalukas. Spanoulis goes to the hoop. It's going to be good. Yep, they give him the two points and the foul. Heroic. As I said, heroic. The gods on Olympus are smiling. And that was foul on Chris Paul. And of course, they counted the basket. So, can he convert the three-point play? And one, it is, 88-77. The free throw, you've got to say now, the Americans are in serious, serious trouble. With an 11-point lead, 538. The shooting is sporadic. Yep, and the free throw shooting just shifting a bit now. Greece beginning to miss a few. The percentage down to 71%. The United States is starting to score a little better. Not consistently so. LeBron James. Gives it up in the corner, Chris. They just Paul. don't have a zone no. offense, Paul. They've got nothing. Their zone offense is non-existent, and that's exactly what everyone has been saying this whole tournament. When they come up against a decent-sized zone, which the Greeks have, they're going to be found wanting. And wasn't it interesting? Early in the game, we talked about the Greeks playing man-to-man -man and having to cut off the lane. And then they come out in the second half, and they surprise the United States by putting up the zone. The kick out to the corner shot doesn't drop chris paul gets it james all alone no, on the right they get it wayne wade pass into lebron james fascinating game of basketball 88 79 nine point lead and there's four minutes and 45 seconds to play greece by nine points the united states trying to come back trying to make that run papa lucas into the lane Nice pass underneath. The ball is pinned against the board. And the foul at halfway by Papagalukas. How many will third. that be? That's his third foul. He had to stop the run. Because if they had got an easy basket, transition basket, the lead would have been down to seven. Timeout. We've got a timeout taken with four minutes, 32 seconds left to play. A fascinating. Don't go away, the game is poised. It could go either way. Even though the United States trail by nine points, you have the feeling that the next couple of minutes, well, it has to be the next couple of minutes are gonna define the game. 4.32 left to play. The United States can score so quickly. Can they cut into this nine point lead? Or will the Greeks abandon their control game? or continue to play control basketball, hit the threes, Interesting enough, Bob, Mike D'Antoni, the Phoenix Suns coach, was doing a lot of talking and diagramming in that timeout. A lot of pressure on this US coaching staff and their players. And they just haven't responded to the Greek zone. Well, there's as many coaches and assistants down there as there are players. Probably one psychologist per player. Carmelo Anthony out of the game right now. Heinrich Johnson, LeBron James, Anthony comes back in. He's just getting that extra couple of seconds of rest. And Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne Wade. Wade is a danger man. Anthony, if he gets the ball in the corner off a pass, can be dangerous. But this if is their best holding lineup. It, I think this is their best lineup. They've had this best lineup and now out there twice in this fourth quarter. Corner, Johnson, such a good shooter. The kickback interrupted by Greece. Papalukas reaching in against LeBron James. Who's got to make his move now? He comes, he's going to go right down the lane against Baby Shaq. He gets a two. But James should be handling the ball more on offense. He is so dynamic. 
especially if they're in that that man to man the u.s should be able to exploit that quickly down to seven points shorts and the big guy back in the game for greece spanula cigar out front seven seconds on the shot clock they do play with that clock and underneath foul is committed by lebron james well because the u.s don't have a big man they have to do something and lebron james is saying well i'm trying he you heard that he yelled out i'm trying because that's a big man to stop wouldn't you think this guy could go to the nba 21 years old a body like that but you've got someone like lebron james who's a superstar saying well i can't stop him when he seals in the paint believe me the doors are locked the windows are bolted he misses one of two from the free throw line 89 81 it's an eight point lead 343 to play Dwayne Wade no but well he does find James I thought he had no one to pass to LeBron James that side. he goes down hard no that was a foul first yes it was a foul first Manulis that's his fourth foul one referee was going to call it a travel. No, I think it. I think it was Papa Lucas. Papa Lucas. Yeah. No, 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 no it's Spinulis, You're right. It was Spinulis. That's wow. the fourth foul. Did the crowd come? But what was strange about that? One referee called a travel, but two called a, a tripping foul. Well, that's in a democracy. That's two to one. That's a majority, simple majority. Wait. Baseline goes for the dunk and misses. Wow, he's mad. He's calling for a foul. I didn't see one. Greece, well, throw it away. Wayne Wade was in the right place to create that steal. The US, I've got to make a run, Bob. It's still an eight point lead. Well, the Greek family, a couple of cracks showing now under pressure. LeBron James gets the two. He's so dynamic. Why not let him run? Well, once the US, either James or Dwayne Wade, break the two guys in the two-three zone, split them, then it's one-on-one -on -one against the big man. And that's what they've done the last couple of times. Down to six-point lead. And Greece holding it up front as they have so often. Spanoulis goes baseline. He gets it running layup. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Back to an eight-point lead. 2.47 to play. It's a well, nail biter. This crowd. Corner. Heinrich drive. Trev Heinrich for three. It's now back to five. Here come the USA. Is it too late? The time the clock is against them. With Greece playing so well on the offensive end. Well, what a test of character. Ten characters out there right now. Spanulis down the paint. The kick out. Underneath, Baby Shaq is grabbed. That's that's an unsportsmanlike foul. That was foolish. Why would you do it? Well, that's, no, no, that's I, two I, shots I, in possession. I disagree. I disagree. It wasn't foolish. He had to foul him. That's a big body to get around, Bob. And if you see on the replay, he had he tried to grab the arm. It looks like a, a vicious foul. I just don't believe it was. Well, he didn't go for the ball. A timeout's taken with 2.17 to play. Greece 91. The, United States 86. What a fantastic basketball. Don't you love this game? Well, remember, the first period, the United States looked pretty well in control. They led 20 to 14. Then at halftime, that last three minutes, Greece went on a 9 0 run, the lead 45 41. And in the third period, well, Greece extended that lead 77 65, and they've hung on to it. We're down to the last two minutes and 17 seconds, and they still lead by five points. Greece over the United States. What pressure packed semi final basketball world championships! The Saitama Super Arena 2006. Anthony walks back onto the court along with Johnson, LeBron James, Kurt Heinrich, who's just committed the unsportsmanlike foul, and Dwayne Wade. Well, that's crucial because they'll now get the ball back at halfway. The Greek, the big man. Now, he'll get it. He's two of four from the free throw line. 
These are crucial free throws. Every shot is from now on. And the crowd is on its feet, yelling, screaming. The Greek fans well, love it. Going. This crowd is split. It's split down the middle as to who, who they want to win. I suspect the majority of with the USA. He misses both of them. Uncharacteristic of the big fella. But they got possession at halfway. So that was a big foul. Still time An against the US. Foul. Well, it's time against the US. Indeed it is. Greece can do exactly what they're doing now. Just take their time. Spanoulis get, comes get down late the in the shot clock. Ten seconds. He freed up for the three. He's got oh! it! He's got it! That's a beautiful toss. A three-pointer, 94-86. Eight points. And down. Under two minutes to play. 155 and counting down. James. The ball knocked out of bounds. Papa Lucas thought he had it picked off. He's looking skyward. Where were the gods when I needed you, he says. Inbounds. Heinrich on the baseline. Joe Johnson in the corner. He's got to throw it out. And he he's does. not even looking to shoot the ball, Joe Johnson. LeBron James. Dwayne Wade, two seconds on the shot clock. He misses. Weak side rebound. Greece. That could well, no, it's not. No. A lot of time, 128. Time is still against the U.S. That's their danger, man. Time, the clock. Spanoulis, the spin dribble against LeBron James. He's not toying with them. He's chewing up. He's munching away on the, the time available. Into the lane. He was looking for the foul. He just lost the ball. The acting. Now that steps. He ran with the ball. No call. More importantly for the U.S., it's down to six. One minute to go. You've got to say, if Greece are not silly, they should win this game. Diamantidis out front, guarded by James. Drives into the lane, the kick out from the corner. Doesn't go down. Diamantidis throws it back. That's it. 45 seconds. The Americans are going to go out. Wait, fouls. They've got to commit the foul. They've got to stop the clock, and they do. It's a 94-88 ball game. Greece with 45 seconds to play. Free throws are crucial. Both teams are in the penalty. Bonoulas. He's a 90% free throw shooter, and he misses the front, front end of the two. They've missed three in a row now, counting baby Shaq's two misses. He's got one of two. Back to seven. The U.S. need a couple of quick threes. They, they can't afford to muck around with the ball. Corner wider. Oh, he's fouled. He's fouled. He's fouled. He's dumped in the middle, but no call. The U.S. will foul. Heinrich with the three. And that's his fifth foul. He'll foul out. But he was absolutely hammered to the ground on that three-point shot. And no one of the referees did anything. Unbelievable. Shorts United goes out now on the line as Diamond. I know it's number 15, it's Kakiusis, number 15. He's got the first, 96-91, five-point ball game. 35.5 seconds to play in the game. The European champions will set it all tournament. The powerhouse of basketball in the world is in Europe. And the European champions are showing the NBA stars that's exactly where it lies. The power base is in Europe. Six point lead. Can Greece hang on? Can the United States hit the three, get the ball straight back? Now it starts, play resumes. LeBron James drives off the glass. It doesn't go down, the ball's in the air. LeBron James gets the put up. All right, four point lead, 25 seconds. The five Greece seconds, can't get it five in. Five seconds. Five seconds hold. So we have not seen one of those for a long time in this tournament. And the U.S. play great defense and get the five second call. Carmelo Anthony. Doesn't go down. Frick. And Greece gets the rebound. They're fouled. Folks, us. can you believe it? Anthony from... Why? Why, why, why? He, because he's hot. Yeah, because he's young. He's egotistical. And he thought he could hit that. Why on earth 
Well, you're right. Carmelo Anthony was hot. He'd hit two big threes in this fourth quarter. What's this? Can put it out of reach. Yeah. He does. Whoa. 19, 20 of 30, 67% for the free throw line. The US need two three pointers in the next 23.5 seconds and some good defense. He makes them both. Priest contests the inbounds pass. James, a bit too slowly over halfway. He's got to score quickly. Down the lane he goes. Oh! That's a dunk. That's a dunk. That's two. He's down to four. Priest get it inbounds. They're fouled immediately. Now there's 15.6 seconds. It's 99-95, four-point lead. I said it two minutes ago, Bob. Time was against the U.S. That was their enemy. If Greece had played their cards right, they were always going to be in a position to win this game because time was against the U.S. Well, Greece have taken a timeout. There's 15.6 seconds. It shows 16 on your screen. 99-95 four-point lead the United States players don't want to go off the court they're shooting they wonder why it was that Greece was allowed the timeout it doesn't matter because Greece effectively no, no, is having it a timeout a, no, it wasn't a Greece timeout it was the US called timeout coach K then After the free throw. called timeout because he wants to query the referee with the time after the free throw so there's only way to talk to the referees is call a timeout. Okay. Now it's up to the referee to decide whether it's an official timeout in the US. And he's saying yes it is. So it wasn't a Greek uh, timeout. Well now there is a timeout down on the floor, 99-95. There's 15.6 seconds. Remember Bob have to play. The coaches can call timeout and if the referee says it was a good on like you know there's a valid reason to put, not to pull the timeout because he wanted to talk with the then they don't credit the timeout but in this instance the referee has said well we think you're wasting time or it wasn't a valid reason for not calling it you get charged for the timeout the u.s bench are very upset well about eight of those white shirted officials on the u.s bench are just giving glaring looks to the score bench well and what's even worse is the American coaching staff are looking right ahead, straight ahead on the other side of the court to the refereeing panel that picked these referees. One of them we know well in New Zealand, Steve Smith from FIBA. So a lot of pressure on, on the line. Kakiusis. Here he goes, 13 points. He's four or five from the free throw line. He's just hit two of them. Three in a row. That's a big, big play. And Greece has scored a ton against the United States. They haven't scored a ton against anybody in this tournament. 101. That's 95. Six point lead. James. He's got to hit a three. He doesn't. Ball bounces high. It's on the floor. Into the corner. Chris Paul. He misses. That's it. That's Greece. Have defeated the United States. Papa Lucas puts the ball into the crowd. The United States have crashed and burned once again in a semi-final match. The Olympic heroes, you've got to understand it, the European champions are great. They played that through that zone defense at the Americans in the second half. The Americans have shown all tournament that they don't have a decent zone offense to run and anyone that was going to play a great zone defense was always going to beat them and it happens to be the european champion all i can say is that the powerhouse of world basketball is fairly and squarely sitting in europe two right in that final period of play the united states outscored greece 30 to 24 but it was too little too late they just could not contend adequately with the Greek zone defense. Greece played man-to-man -man early in the game, sort of lulled the United States, if you will, into a sense of false security. And then in the second half, out comes the zone. Boom! No offense, and they couldn't make threes consistently enough. The United States have gone down. The Greeks are delighted. They will play the winner of the second semi-final match, Spain versus Argentina, and that will be another titanic struggle. And the Japanese crowd, and of course the Greek fans, are all giving this Greek national team, the European champion, 
gold medal prospect, a great ovation. We've seen them stumble to a couple of wins. We've seen them win very, very messily in one game. But tonight, or this afternoon, they were magnificent against the United States. The United States could, brilliant in patches, but they just didn't have the game plan to best the Greeks. Once they got behind, the pressure was all on them. Their free throw shooting, 20 of 34, isn't going to get the job done. They the shot 68% from the two-point area the and still lose the game. Short to Leonidas. What a great game he had. He was absolute chief destroyer in the first half of the American Popolukas. One of the heroes for Greece. Well, Greece, 8 of 18 from the three-point line, 44%. The United States, 9 of 28. That's 32%. It just doesn't get the job done. And in the end, the United States committed 10 turnovers. Greece, 12. But in the last three minutes, it was catch-up basketball. They were 12 down, and time was against them. They never caught up. And look at the Greeks celebrating in the center of the court. European passion. And look at those fans. They're happy. Well, well done.